Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this video I'll show to you guys how you can create a new Gmail account. Before we get started I will tell you that this way is the most secure way how to create a Gmail account. Once you create a Gmail account you will have the accesses to all these apps that are showing over here. For example for Gmail, for Meet application, for chat, for Google Drive, for Google Calendar, for Google Duo etc etc. So all of those are some of the apps that you will get access once you create a Gmail account. So first of all, let's open any kind of browser and once you have opened, you just search over here, create a Gmail account and normally you should see over here, create your Google account. You click over this link and then you will be redirected to this page where we will set up our Gmail account. I'll put the link on the description below so you can come directly on this page. Another way how you can come on this page is by just clicking over this button here, sign in, which is shown once you have opened a Google Chrome browser. So you click over sign in and then you can see over here, create account. You click over it and then you select for myself, for my child or to manage my business. In this case, it's going to be for myself. So I click over there and then we'll be redirected to the same page which we opened on the first place. So there are two ways how you can come on this page. Once you are over here, you need to write your first name. So in this case, I'm going to write like my first name, my YouTube channel. So let's say learn tech. And then as a username, you should find a name which is free and not occupied from other users of Gmail. I'll try learn tech, but it will show me that this username is taken. So I need to try something else as my username. So my username is going to be learntech8990 at gmail.com. This is the username that I found free, which is related to learntech. So after you have found the username, you need to click over password and you really write here a strong password. We should have at least eight or more characters with a mix of letters, numbers and symbols. So let's try the strong password. We need to write it two times, so we write over here also. It's happening a lot of hacking outside, so it's really important that you write a strong password over here so your account will not be hacked. I'll show you some other secure settings that you need to configure on your Gmail account so it's not hacked. After you are done with this page, you need to click over next. So now we need to fill the phone number and the recovery email address, which will help us to recover our account in case that we forget the password. So it's really recommended to write a phone number over here, even that it's showing like it's optional. So let's write the phone number over here. You need to write the prefix so you can choose your prefix and then you write the number here. Then you write a recovery email address. It can be any kind of email address. It can be Yahoo, Hotmail or Gmail. So in this case, it's going to be this Gmail account. Then you need to write your birthday over here. And then you need to write the gender. Once you are done with this page, you need to click over next. Then it will redirect you to this page, which will tell you verify your phone number. And in order to do that, it will send you a security code on your phone number. So you click over send. Then you need to write here the security code that you just received on your phone. You should keep it in your mind that you cannot create a lot of Gmail accounts by using the same phone number. Once you are done with verifying your phone number, you need to click over verify. Then this is just an information tab. You just click over skip. Then you will choose here personalization settings. You have the first one which says express personalization and the second one is manual personalization. I'm going to choose the first one which will include the default personalization settings. Click over next. Then we need to confirm personalization settings and cookies. We click over confirm. Then we need to accept privacy and terms. So we click over agree. So here we are now, my Gmail account is open and this Gmail account or this Google account can use to have accesses on all over these apps. You can use to have accesses on YouTube, Google Play, etc. Et so in this case, I just want to open Gmail. So we click over Gmail and we will be redirected to the Gmail account. You just have to click over this tab, continue with smart futures, and then you click next. Over this one, you click over done. You choose any one of these options. And here we are. My Gmail account is created and it's really very good secured because we have created a strong password. We have used a phone number to verify it and we have set it up a recovery email address. In this way, 
If you forget the password, you can use your phone number or your recovery email address to still log in or to access your Gmail account. So that's all that I wanted to show to you guys. Hopefully you liked this video and please do not forget to subscribe. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.